tell you something about sugar, and then we will proceed to the practical part of the demonstration. I will actually uh, want some of the volunteers for some of the parts, not the dangerous ones. So, uh, uh, but I call for the volunteers, you'll have to be quick, because when you work with sugar, everything has to be at the right temperature. If it's at the right temperature, what you try to do is always easy. If it's at the wrong temperature, uh, then it becomes a real pain and it takes lots of time. Okay, so uh, what you have here uh, in this table are various carbohydrates. The most simple ones are mo uh, uh, monosaccharides such as glucose, uh, fructose, the one which is in fruit, uh, lactose, and so on. Uh, the one that we are interested in, uh, the uh, sugar, that's what we call sucrose, uh, consists of one glucose and uh, uh, one fructose uh, molecules uh, like this. So, uh, you are all familiar what uh, sugar looks like. If you actually put it under the electron microscope, you can see that uh, you have individual uh, crystallized of sugar. When we work with uh, sugar for the sugar art purposes, we actually, in most cases, don't want it to be crystalline. We want it to be uh, amorphous. We want it to look like uh, uh, glass. So, uh, as I said, this is the sugar molecule. If you, uh, if you mix this sugar molecule with uh, individual glucose and fructose, uh, which is uh, uh, what we typically have here in this corn syrup, uh, then you uh, can prevent crystallization of the sugar. Let me just check what's happening here. Okay, not there yet. Uh, so this one is right at the time to add it some uh, uh, glucose syrup because I don't want it to crystallize uh, since I want to show you what pulled sugar looks like. Okay, so if you're wondering what's here because of the time constraints, I had to start this uh, boiling earlier. Uh, if you ever want to do some of the simpler parts of this at home, what you need is one cup of sugar, half cup of water, quarter cup of corn syrup. And that's it. You put sugar and water first to boil. When it starts boiling, you add the corn syrup. It's very simple. So you just remember the proportion. One to one half to one quarter. Okay. So, uh, Table sugar is the uh, second sweetest uh, uh, sugar and it's also very soluble. So when you actually mix in one cup of sugar with half cup of water, it can pretty much almost all uh, dissolve. Uh, so uh, it will start to melt around 160 degrees and it will caramelize on around 170. If you boil the sugar solution to 153 degrees, it will still be colorless and transparent. If you go over that temperature, you will get the golden yellow color of the caramel. If you keep increasing the temperature, it will get darker and darker and uh, more bitter, and then in the end, uh, you get burnt black stuff, which is not the phase where you want to go. Uh, from what you can see here, I said it melts around uh, 160. Uh, so, uh, you can simply prepare caramel by melting sugar directly, but if you do that, you need really, really expensive cookware because in a normal frying pan, what is over the flame will be higher temperature than the parts which are not directly over the flame. So, when you melt sugar directly without adding any water, uh, it's very hard to get uniform color of the sugar and nice transparency that we get with the wet method because with the water it heats up slowly. So it's necessary for all the water to evaporate uh, and that will bring uh, everything to reasonably uh, uniform uh, temperature. So as I said, we are adding uh, uh, invert syrups that is 75% glucose, 25% sucrose. Uh, corn syrup is pretty close to that, to retard, uh, retard the crystallization of the sugar. Uh, you typically make uh, invert <coughs> syrup by adding uh, some uh, acid uh, to, uh, to break 
uh, break the bond and get the water molecule. Uh, this is uh, one important tip if you ever play with the sugar at home, how you can clean up easily. Because if you have caramel in a pot, it's, uh, it hardens uh, really hard and it's a real uh, uh, difficult job to, to scrub your pot after the sugar. The good news is you don't have to scrub, you use your chemistry knowledge. You pour some vinegar into the pot and some water and you leave it until next morning all the sugar will be totally dissolved and you just rinse. So uh, very easy and uh, very straightforward. So in a caramelization, we have sugar molecules getting into bigger and bigger and bigger long chain molecules, and they are not very soluble, which is why it is uh, difficult to scrub. Because the molecules are, are bigger and you have a mixture of uh, molecules with different length, you get more complex aroma in a caramel compared to the plain sugars is not just simple uh, sweetness. So as I mentioned here, we have uh, one cup of sugar, half cup of water, adding quarter cup of corn syrup, and we heat it up. I'm not going to go to 153 degrees, I'll let it caramelize a little bit because uh, it looks nicer when it's golden. So I'm going to show you how to do sugar bubbles. So we are going to use the property that different liquids have a, a different temperature. So uh, alcohol evaporates at a very, a very low temperature. So here I have any alcohol can do. Uh, this is not for drinking. Uh, just for uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it on some paper, I prepared baking paper, and uh, uh, then I'm going to pour hot sugar over it, because sugar will be very hot, 160 degrees or so. The alcohol will evaporate and you will get uh, uh, bubbles in it, and it will look very interesting. In fancy hotels you pay lots of money for various sugar decorations, but you will see that they are really uh, simple and straightforward to prepare. Uh, last thing I'm going to show you right, right before the end, I'm cooking sugar for that in the second pan here, is the pool sugar. Uh, pool sugar is something that I don't recommend you to do at home, it requires practice, because you have to take the sugar but while it's still hot, hold it in your hands and pull it. So you stretch it and you fold it, you stretch it and you fold it, so you try to incorporate air bubbles into the sugar by pulling and folding, pulling and folding. What you achieve that way is that those air bubbles are kind of micron-sized, they are bigger than the wavelength of the light. So they scatter the light, so the sugar will look white and non-transparent, uh, as, uh, as you will see later. So here are some examples of what you can do, what you see right there at the top are the initial stages of the pooling of the sugar. So you just pull it, uh, pour it out, and then you start uh, uh, folding it. Uh, kind of push it towards the middle, when it's uh, cooled down enough so that you can handle it. Uh, then you start pulling and folding, you can see that it's whiter. Uh, you can add uh, uh, coloring to it, so you get different colors. Uh, this is uh, 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 bubble sugar here, and, uh, and so on. Okay, so I'm also going to show you spoon sugar, and this is part that you can easily do by yourself uh, uh, at home. Okay, so uh, it's still not at the right temperature, about 110. Okay, so uh, as I said, I'll do sugar bubbles. Uh, then I'm also going to show you how you can make uh, some. Uh, uh, complex sugar decorations. I'm going to use these uh, silicon templates and I'll show you how to make a butterfly out of uh, sugar. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you spoon sugar. I will want volunteers for the spoon sugar part because that, uh, okay, I saw you the first time. <laughs> so you three will be able, okay, you two. We can also have uh, uh, <laughs> you, you've done it before. So, <laughs> um, so uh, for the spoon sugar, 
Uh, this is something where it's pretty much uh, impossible for you to hurt yourself. The worst thing that can happen if you do this at home is you make an awful mess in the kitchen because sugar threads get everywhere. Uh, what you do in spoon, uh, in spoon sugar, let me just explain briefly, is once I'm done with the butterfly and the sugar bubbles, we wait for the sugar to cool down a bit. So then we dip the, the fork in the sugar, take it out, and then you just wave it around and sugar threads will fall down. Uh, then what, do this on the uh, <laughs> will she let you live after that? <laughs> I to be smart about it. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much what's going to happen and then after that we will move on to the uh, pulled uh, sugar. I'm heating this one at a bit uh, lower rate, so hopefully it will all be ready. So this one is now 117, this one is 110. Yellow thing is the infrared uh, thermometer. I prefer to use infrared thermometer rather than thermometer that you dip in the sugar simply because you have no mess. <laughs> I am putting on the gloves because I will be using my hand to dip this directly into hot sugar. So you can uh, come out and wait here if you wish. <laughs> I can see you're quite impatient. <laughs> okay, so uh, but just don't uh, don't crowd too much about the, around the sugar. That's awesome. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do is for the bubble sugar. Okay, you can see that it's starting to get a little bit yellow. a little bit more and then you go. It can, your sugar can slide off when it's all One cup sugar, half cup water, quarter cup, yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the last thing that we have here Whoa. is the full sugar. What? Full sugar. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to hold the sugar in your hands while it's still hot. 
and that's uh, uh, that can be dangerous and very painful if you burn your hands. It's 96 degrees, so that's too hot. I wanted to get down to about 70 before I can cool it. So very hot. This that would be okay, 80 degrees, just a little bit colder, and then it's the right time to, to cool. So I'm kind of moving it around so it will, it will cool faster. Just hold it for a very short time because this, this is still about 75 degrees, so very hot. What I want to do here is now we can again do a spiral. Here, inside, okay? Okay, so this is still soft. We pull down and set completely and then we will pass it around. You can adjust the shape while it's still soft. Once it pulls down, then a lot more shape adjustment or it will break. Okay, so this is your 